Now we will learn the embryological development of the stomach. Now here you can see the tubular structure of the stomach. Initially it is just like a tube. Later on it becomes dilated just like a fusiform dilatation. Now see next what concentrate this tube is having the black colored uh, longitudinal axis just that is showing. And now we have to see that how the stomach is going to rotate from the left side which is now facing anteriorly and the right side has gone posteriorly. Okay, let's see again what is happening. The left side of the stomach is rotating around the longitudinal axis. Now it is forming the anterior wall and the posterior wall is formed by the right side of the stomach another important thing is going to be happened now let's see after the rotation around a longitudinal axis now you can see that we have got the anteroposterior axis against which the stomach has to move how it is moving let's see again it was present like this now it rotated in such a way that its cranial end has come to the left and lower position and its pyloric end has reached the right and a little bit upper position. Okay, again what is happening that there is more growth of the lower border of uh, this uh, stomach to form greater curvature, right? And now you observe that around AP axis, the stomach model has rotated to attain its final position. So this is the cranial or cardiac end of the stomach and this is the pyloric end of the stomach that has reached to the right side.